What's up, guys? I'm here with my good friend Whitney Reed, who's also the national sales manager here at BPI Sports. And he is here today to help me talk about intensity boosting techniques. Now, you notice I got my little cue cards here. I have to give credit to the person that I'm ripping off here, and that's Casey Neistat, the vlogger. I like this style because it makes it easy to edit. I don't have to put any of the fancy graphics in, which takes up too much time because I edit these in just a couple hours in my free time in the evening. So, special thanks to Casey Neistat. All right, intensity boosting techniques. Today, we are talking about negatives. Now, in order to understand what negatives are, we have to understand that there are three types of muscle contractions. We've got the concentric. That's one that everybody knows. If we're doing bicep curls, that is the squeeze up and that is where the muscle shortens in length. Our second type of contraction is an isometric contraction. So that would be the same as like posing or flexing. That is where there is no movement at the joint, but you're contracting the muscle. So that's an isometric contraction. And our third and final, is going to be an eccentric or a negative, and this is where a muscle lengthens. So this is what we're gonna talk about today, the right way to do negative training. We're gonna be doing some single arm dumbbell preacher curls. We don't have a preacher bench here at BPI, so we use an incline bench. Now, the benefit of doing negatives. Now, a lot of people talk about doing negatives in their regular set, and they talk about doing a two to three count negative. So that would be using whatever weight that I can curl up, controlling it down for a count of two to three seconds. Now that counts for time under tension. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means if I were to squeeze it up in one second, then the other benefit is going to be the negative, which is going to be a two to three second on the way down. And that's gonna give you total time under tension for that set. You wanna shoot for about 30 to 40 seconds total for your set time under tension. So if you're doing 10 reps, what does that mean? Well, one second on the way up and then two to three seconds on the way back down. So that's three to four seconds total per rep multiplied by 10. That's gonna give you that 30 to 40 seconds total of time under tension. So controlling your negative is important for time under tension, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about how to use negatives as an intensity boosting technique. So, here's the thing that you have to remember. We are stronger in a negative than we are in the concentric. A good example would be bench press. Have you ever seen someone unrack a weight that's too heavy for them? They can control it on the way down, but they can't press it back up. That's because we are stronger in the negative than we are in the concentric. So, in order to get the most out of negatives, we can't use the same weight that we would normally be able to curl you have to use a weight that's heavier. And so that's why Whitney came out today to help me because for most of these, you need someone to be able to help you with the concentric phase so you can work the eccentric phase. Now at the end, I will show you one way to do it when you're by yourself and if you don't have the benefit of someone helping you. But right now we're gonna start off by doing dumbbell preacher curls. So here's a good example. This is a 50 pound dumbbell. So I could probably do these on my own for at least maybe a good eight reps. So this weight right here would be too light to do for negatives. I have to use a weight that I struggle with on the concentric phase, and that's where Whitney's gonna come in. He's gonna help me get the weight to the top, and then I'm gonna fight it on the way down, and that's the negative. <clears throat> so, first one I shouldn't have a problem with, but he's gonna be a spotter here just in case. Now he's gonna help me on the way back up. Now I'm gonna control it on the way down for a good two to four second contraction and back up. Fight it on the way down and he's gonna help on the way back up. You notice his hands are there the whole time. That's because just in case I hit that wall, you don't want that weight to come flinging down that's gonna potentially damage your tendons, your ligaments, give you a muscle tear. So he's there for safety precaution. Ugh. See, at this point, there's no way I could get that concentric contraction, but I can still control it. Ugh. I got one more. That's it. That's what you want. Oh, that's it. That's what you're shooting for right there, is hitting that wall where you can no longer fight it on the way down. That's the point that I go for when doing negatives. Whew. 
That'll really work the muscle. So when do I use this? I use this in my training periodically. I think Whitney would agree that you don't want to do this all the time. So I do this periodically, maybe every, week. every third week. So every three weeks, you can add this in to the end of your sets to really kick up the intensity. So if I were to go through all my biceps training, I would do this at the end and I would probably throw in maybe two sets of these at the very end of my training. So that's how you're gonna do negatives. Now, the same technique applies on almost every single exercise. Some exercises are more difficult to, to do than others, like squats. <laughs> squats would be pretty difficult. <laughs> I don't think I wanna wear Whitney like a backpack, <laughs> pressing that weight back up. So let me quickly show you an exercise that you can do on your own if you don't have a training partner, because some of you don't have anyone that can help you. So I'm gonna show you on a machine how you can do negatives by yourself. So let's walk over to a machine preacher curl. So the challenge, obviously, is the concentric phase. If you're using a weight that's too heavy to do concentrically, what you can do is on a machine, you can do single arms. So what you do, use two arms to help you on the concentric, and then you do single arms for the negative. So you're acting like your own spotter. So those are a couple techniques on how to boost your intensity using negatives. Now, there are a lot of different ways to increase the intensity in your workouts. This is just one way. So next week, we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna go through drop sets, which is another intensity boosting technique. So you're gonna see Whitney out here helping me next week. And so we will see you guys then.